Okay, so I'm doing these videos in pieces. It's been a little hard to get down. Um, sorry that I can't be there in person. I wish I was. I'm sure everyone's doing a great job and you're all loving this. So um, another thing I wanted to list about um, the first mixed recording was that Jelly Roll Morton was inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998 because he was really innovative uh, when it came to implementing things into jazz music. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that clip of them playing together. So moving on, we have the first mixed combo in big band group. So this was um, the Benny Goodman Trio, and Benny Goodman was an awesome clarinetist. He played with two other people, um, let's see, Teddy Wilson and Gene Krupa, and they played together in 1935 is when they got together, and they um, had their first public interracial performance in 1935 at the Congress Hotel in Chicago, so at that time, this had never really happened before, and people were not happy about this. Um, they booed them, people walked out, maybe it was like a low-key riot, but people like weren't having this because segregation was still so prevalent. However, because Benny Goodman was so popular, um, he had like, he was renowned nationwide. People respected him to some degree, and they, um, this kind of allowed black and white people and other types of people to play music together um, in harmony. No pun intended. And um, so that was a great stepping stone for um, mixed combo and big band groups as far as that goes. Um, people said that Benny was colorblind when it came to music and he's quoted to say, if a guy's got it, let him give it. I'm selling music, not prejudice. So that's awesome. Um, he created a style called chamber jazz. So it's called chamber jazz because of the highly developed ensemble playing and technically brilliant solos. So we touched briefly upon chamber music in class um, in the 18th century is when it really started. It was mostly like string quartets, but um, Benny Goodman has this jazz song called Bach Goes to Town. And if you fast forward to the two minute mark, you'll hear um, the remainder of the song. You can definitely pick up some similarities to box music, and it's really awesome to hear and relate back to what we've learned in class. So enjoy, and enjoy the rest of the presentation. Thanks. <laughs> 